Hmm. You know, I've been very lucky to be able to work on all these drawings I've been doing and poems and stuff. And um, this, especially this, these last few months, really, I've just been kind of just, just been this outpouring and I can't, I really can't account for it. But um, occasionally it sort of gets to a, I think almost like a critical mass or something. Um, that I know I'm on to something and I don't know how to speak of it. Um, this drawing, for example, which is a composite thing, um, um, came to the aid, I think, really, of a poem that I wrote called uh, uh, Concatenation. And, um, <laughs> um, and one of the things I was, I was aware of as I was um, working on the poem is that I didn't, uh, and it's sort of the same thing with my drawings too, like I'm not, um, I don't, I don't like go for a sort of sense, <laughs> um, but there is some sense, you know, that comes out of it. It's just that I'm, I'm having such a good time with words and I do kind of chart, you know, them in terms of their meaning. I don't think the, I don't think my poems are completely meaningless, <laughs> um, but they're going into some other thing that I think that maybe I have the idea that kind of when you hit seventy or something that there's this, um, I don't know if it's larger, but it's just more capacious. Um, you don't, you don't kind of, or I don't anyway, um, you know. Uh, look for and kind of run and jump on the thing that you think is going to be the answer, you know, because the answer is just so large and it's and it's changing constantly. So I don't feel I have to make sense that much, but I love words as much as I ever did. So some sense does come out. Anyway, this probably all sounds like gibberish. Hopefully the poem won't, although it may. But I, it's like a whole new way of kind of tangling with language. And I don't know, that's kind of what happened with this poem. And it's called Concatenation. And um, I will recite it. it um, uh, when I started writing it, it came out in um, the melody of, it was concatenation, I know. <laughs> so the first two lines are like from that um, uh, fascination sort of thing. Oh, I got that. And uh, I don't know what that's about. I don't know what anything's about. I suppose that's what that's the only message I have is that it's coming out anyway, hopefully to some avail. Um, here I go. It was concatenation, I know, when we heard our noses all starting to blow. <laughs> that's the beginning of this one. Why not concatenate my creatures so they don't feel so alone? Find a crimson context in which they might share some of the secrets of their tiny sinecures. They do no work, of course. How can they? They can't but undermine the cheaply specious folderol whose gods they all propitiate, substantiate, by choosing to pretend that they will soon emancipate their flimsy leaves of bargain basement papers and brash purple-orange-red embrasures. I like the word embrasures. Always pluralistically employed, deployed, egregiously, salaciously chewed on by mites so tiny, they're impecuniously extradited when they could be bought to catch infinitesimally whispery fat beads of a sweat, then to be offered to an erstwhile blue-haired, cataleptical, notorious Latina, so elliptically gorgeous, charms she learned in Prague. She used to do a blog and finish, but do know of any, but do you know of any pretty lightning rod that I might use to poke one of my little apertures tonight? Afterwards, determined by the impact of an ancillary cattail whip that doesn't hurt at all, I wonder if we might put three things we made use of on that very day and that we steadily and readily imagined how we might replace it with a silver thing we both knew that we loved. Into such moments, hearts are often shoved. 
Do it with your naked fingers or do it with them gloved. Yeah, mm.